Guys, this is going to be a collaboration between man and machine. The software that I have is, you know, a little bit limited and the software thinks this thing is a router. So we're just going to sort of fool the machine. I'm going to help it by triggering the welder. And it's pretty simple actually. Uh, this switch right here closes the circuit and the switch uh, I'll show you here is these two leads so all I have to do is disconnect those I'm just plugging in my switch here alright this place is a disaster I'm just gonna take a few seconds to organize it Some of you are asking me for uh, plans or measurements or things like that. Uh, I don't have any of that. I just decided on this this size uh, just because of these lead screws here. They came in a three foot length, so that's pretty much decides how big this is going to be. Uh, this is the extent of my drawing that I made design on the fly you know just start with one thing and leads to another and leads to another so you know they sell these lead screws in eight foot lengths so you could make it that big if you wanted to it really doesn't matter you know you can get uh, more powerful motors and be able to move a ton of metal okay guys let's start with something simple here I'm just gonna do uh, three circles like that and my cut my depth is going to be uh, three thousandths of an inch ba basically I don't want this thing to move uh, and over here in my cut settings I'm gonna do a feed rate of 40, 40 inches per minute and that's from experimenting and my depth depth per pass is going to be also three thousandths of an inch so it'll only go around uh, once for each circle. All right, so before I do anything, I, I want to do a dry run. All right, guys. So I'm going to put my setting at B2.5, it seems to work best and that will determine how thick my bead is of course but this combination seems to work well. So I'm going to be triggering this. Hello. Here we go. Alright, check that out. You know, there's some spots where it's so, sort of skipped and, th and stuff like that. But man, that's pretty awesome. Alright guys, we're going to try a bit of a different design here. Alright, not too bad. Uh, it did start off with a little hiccup over here but uh, then it kind of recuperated there that's pretty cool 
except right there. I'm going to clean it up, grind it up a bit, see what we can do with it. That's a 80 grit uh, flap disc and I love these man, these are, are the best. It looks pretty cool when you grind it down, uh, it gives it a really nice texture. See that's that was my problem there. As soon as the welder started, it was kind of hiccuping here, which sucks. But the rest came out great. Let's talk about cost, guys. Stepper motors, these are NEMA 17. I bought them off of eBay uh, used. Uh, they were 10 bucks a piece. Uh, they, I got four of them actually, they work great. And they, yeah, they just caught them off of something and shipped them out. Next, we got the lead screw. These are Acme lead screws, uh, 3 eighths of an inch. These are actually quite cheap. They're about six bucks a piece, but of course, then they screw you with the shipping. So I ended up buying two of them, three foot length, and these cost me forty dollars for both of them. <clears throat> now the Z axis lead screw. This I I just bought at uh, Home Depot, and uh, this is a five sixteenths which is it works great because 5 16 is what the diameter of those bearings are all the two inch tubing and the one inch tubing I spent a uh, 60 bucks on it these were from a pair of roller skates and that was seven dollars I got those off of Goodwill as well uh, the inside wheels, these came from a little kid's skateboard. I actually have it right here. And this was three bucks. Uh, the bearings for my Y axis, those also, they came from a pair of roller skates. You can watch that on uh, episode number two, I believe. And uh, I paid seven bucks for that as well, from uh, Goodwill. The drawer slides, uh, I bought these uh, Home Depot, and uh, these were $13 for the pair. Um, they have cheaper ones, but I recommend getting the, the really nice ones. All the hardware, like uh, nuts and bolts uh, that are everywhere, um, for all the hardware combined, I spend about thirty dollars. Okay, the EC drivers, these three, um, they're actually I mentioned they were about two bucks a piece. I was wrong. They're about three bucks a piece. So I spent uh, nine dollars there, and that's including shipping. Arduino, that was about thirty bucks. These bearings here, they're different. They're, these are not skateboard or roller skate bearings. Uh, these I actually bought off of eBay as well and that's because uh, they need to be 3 eighths of an inch uh, on the inside diameter there. Those were pricey guys. Those uh, I spent about, let's see, I got my list here, 35 bucks for four bearings. That really hurt, but uh, I couldn't really find anything that would, uh, that the lead screw would fit into so I had to bite the bullet and buy those four bearings there. Delrin nut block these are pricey as well it really hurt because they're just so small and it's just like a little piece but I ended up uh, paying uh, $40 for so basically 20 bucks a pop 
and I'm including shipping, you know, a lot of these people uh, on eBay, they'll advertise something for like $6, and then they'll tack on, you know, 12 bucks, uh, 18 bucks for shipping, which is kind of shitty, but it is what it is. Uh, what else? I uh, got these from the metal supply, and uh, these are just a couple of cents. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. So let's add that up. $296, guys. That's what I spent. Uh, you can build this out of anything. You can make it out of wood if you want. I chose metal because it's what I do for a living. But uh, this can be made out of any material. <clears throat> now, how much, how long did it take? It took about a month, and I was working on it almost daily. I just start with the x-axis, have that move, and then move on to the y-axis, move on to the z-axis, so it's all designed on the fly. I don't have any drawings or anything. I'd rather just build it. I have a picture in my mind of what it should be, and I just go with that. So. No drawings. So what's next guys? Well, I'm gonna bring out this little jig. What is that? Well, that's what's coming guys.